This video will show you how to change your notification settings. Once you've logged into Blackboard, you want to go over to the top right hand side, click on your name, and then choose settings. Click on edit notification settings, and this will launch the edit notification settings page. On the right hand side here under bulk edit notifications, you want to click on courses I am teaching and this will bring up the change settings page. You'll see on the left hand side that you have a list of all the modules that you're an instructor on and you can either choose to select all of them and move them over to the selected items box or you can just select a particular module. So for this example I'm just going to select one module move it over to the selected items and then as I scroll down to section 3 which is settings you'll see a list on the left hand side of all the notifications that are available within Blackboard and on the right hand side you'll see dashboard, mobile and email so these are where the notifications can be sent to. By default you'll find that the majority of the ones on the dashboard are ticked so all notifications to do with announcements, assignments, item due, etc. are ticked and will be visible notifications on the dashboard. Then on mobile and email you have the option of either choosing to receive announcements available via the mobile app or email. It's worth noting that the actual mobile notifications does only apply to the actual mobile app and it doesn't send you a text message about announcements. So if you tick a box you will receive the notifications. If you have a box that does not have a tick you won't receive a notification. Once you've actually finished you want to click on submit and it gives you a message saying submitting the page will overwrite all previous customizations. That's okay. And then what you'll find over on the left hand side under edit individual course settings is that you'll see a sort of what looks like a triangle warning symbol. And that's just telling you that the notification settings have been changed. It's not saying that there's an actual problem with the notifications. So that's how you change the notifications.